This dude's here is a little broken. <laughs>Hey guys, it's Altaki here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're gonna be take a look at the big speaker. And some of you might be like, But this is a PC, not a speaker. You are correct. And as in case you didn't know, I built this thing back in, uh, I think it's July. I totally forgot. This PC works great, but not if it's without its problems. So I'll get through problems later on. But first things first, here's things that I did change with this machine here. Power supply exactly the same since the previous video. And yes, I added the Wi-Fi card. There's the only one thing that I did change, but Wi-Fi adapter kind of sucks. And we have an 80 mil fan. Now, I did change the 80 mil fan, which I'll talk about that in a, in a bit. And we have two additional USB ports. Yay, more USB. And now let's have a look at the inside here. So yeah, let's talk about the changes I did to big speaker. Or should I say, my custom built rig. So first things first is the wireless adapter. This right here is the ProLink DH5102U Wi-Fi adapter. But however, this ProLink adapter here is actually a real tech one, which everyone hates so much. I did notice the connection being so slow because of this adapter here being absolute junk you know what i mean so yeah i may consider swapping out the wi-fi adapter to dedicated wi-fi adapter which does have pcie but i'm not gonna do that because this board is iffy which i'll talk about that later on i should have researched even more before buying by wi-fi adapter so yeah if you if you guys have suggestions on the best usb wi-fi adapter that that is at least not real tech and at least wi-fi ac because my house has upgraded to Dual band Wi-Fi way, way long time ago. Yeah, this being a real tech stuff is very dodgy. So I'm going to keep that for now and cope with it. And that's the Wi-Fi adapter stuff here. Let's talk about the real USB. It does connect to the front panel USB, which you cannot see it, obviously. And now that leads us to the fan here. So this is a slimline 80 mil fan because this case does not have 120 mil real fan support. Oh my goodness. So let me show you guys the 80 mil fan that I used to use back in the day. So oh my god, this is so jerry rigged. One annoying thing about it is the fan blades touching the heatsink. Maybe because it's something to do with the motherboard or something. It has clearance issue. So yeah, the motherboard is a MSI B75MA-E33 by the way. So yeah, this new fan here is quieter than that, but it's audible. Not the greatest, but at least it's got a PWM connector here. Since the cable is pretty long, I can route through that fan connector. So yeah. And the most important thing is that it's thin. Thin enough to make a good clearance between the edge of a cooler. So yeah, that's about it for the three changes. And let's talk about something's wrong with this machine and let me tell you about problems of this machine before i talk about the problems let me tell you about the story of how the weird things happened to my motherboard here so what i did here was to reduce the resonant sounds of hard drive the fan stuff like that with yep foam double-sided tape not ideal but it would definitely do the job but not really helpful but it should work as I'm trying to test it the next day because I didn't use this PC much. The PC did not post. Yeah. And that is with the side panel closed. And as you can see, yeah. <laughs> this is a very, very jank solution to make this side panel dance enough. So yeah, it should sound just fine compared to this horrible not so dense sound. I did some simple troubleshooting by taking out the GPU, try the onboard video because the i5-3570 has Intel HD Graphics 4000, I think, and try to reseat the RAM and change the RAM to a different slot, but yeah, no effect. And I had to resort taking out the CMOS battery and wait for a while. I had to put back the CMOS battery and power it on and it's alive again. Oh yeah, as I'm trying to test this machine and reconfigure stuff here, I was not able to enter the setup because wanna know why? 
It's because of Windows. What? Yeah, shutting down Windows 8 onwards does not consider to be a full shutdown, but rather it's called hibernating. But yeah, hibernating does not allow you to enter the BIOS or some stuff. And yeah, that's a problem with this machine here. I cannot seem to enter the setup until I boot Windows onto my SSD. I'm glad it did boot it just fine. So yeah, that's a relief. But yeah, my final result is to disable hybrid boot on control panel and it seems good. And I was able to enter the BIOS after one restart, everything works again. Except there's something wrong with the controller. Yeah, I'm talking about the USB controller, the onboard one specifically. Oh, my PC is about to tumble. But yeah, I had to move the USB Wi-Fi adapter down here when, when the USB controller USB 3.0 controller starts working again. I move the Wi-Fi adapter to the bottom port like this to make space for two USB 3.0 ports. But however, the day after that, I decided to download Genshin Impact 3.2 because I forgot to update Genshin on this PC because I mostly use my laptop. As I'm downloading Genshin 3.2, the USB controller stops working again. And I was like, uh, what? And then Windows keeps spamming The power switch detected image will power the dot Notification thing about Bob here It's very infuriating And I had to restart And then realize that the USB 3.0 driver Stops working again Yeah, this is This is really bad And I have to say, I got a bad motherboard This is so sad Please like and subscribe to ensue my pain. So yeah, one of the reasons why I think this motherboard is bad is because the onboard USB 3.0 is kaput. It magically works again after I reset the CMOS and then it stopped working again. I think the motherboard is bad. Since I had to cope without the onboard USB 3.0, I had to resolve with the USB 3.0 card. In case you didn't watch the upgrade video, you can check it out on the icon on the top right. Guess I had to get a new platform then. So yeah, I think that's about it for the update. Not much changes happened to the big speaker to be specific. But yeah, I had to get a new motherboard to make this thing fly again. Perfectly. Fully fl flying. Is that a what? Is that a what? But yeah, the new motherboard shoots off two big speakers major obstacles. So yeah, so that's gonna be about it for the big speaker update. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe. Share this video and I don't know what I'm gonna say. Be sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe and hit the bell icon for future uploads like this. Yeah, please make it to the algorithm. Anyway, the Tail Taco signing out. Peace.